Hey YouTube, this is Praxis. One of the common themes that I'm sure you've heard about on my channel is that I think it's really important for people to get out and practice sort of wilderness skills, camping skills, survival skills ahead of a time when they need them in a life and death, death situation. I think it's great to go camping to, to do that kind of thing and also just doing day hikes. And one of my favorite places to come out and do day hikes with, in this case with my boy who's behind this dirt pile, I think he's digging a tunnel through there with some of his construction vehicles. Uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, places to come out is to these uh, power lines. I think power lines are a great place where people can get out, uh, even if you don't live in an area that has like state parks or state forests right near you. There's almost always power lines. And very frequently, the power lines are kind of, it's sort of like a kind of a public space where you can come to. Uh, you know, it may not you know, technically be that way, but it, it's usually treated as sort of hands-off. And people, there's usually trails through and people can pass through. And there's a lot that you can do under under power lines. Now, I, you know, I'm not going to say you, can, you should, can or should be practicing your fire building skills or anything like that. Or camping out. There's usually signs posted, you know, suggesting that people shouldn't be camping. Uh, but there's a lot of other things you can do. Uh, one great thing that you can do is just getting out and moving through a natural environment, you know, testing out your, your hiking shoes, you know, ch testing out your endurance, all those kind of basic things. There's usually rocks and outcroppings. It's a great place to practice, uh, you know, skills about, you know, diff finding different types of, uh, you know, different types of stone. It's a great opportunity to pass that down to people in your family as well. Uh, in addition to that, one of the best places, the easiest places to find a lot of wild edibles is underneath power lines. Now, Underneath power lines, I wouldn't necessarily go eating a lot of wild edibles because, uh, you know, sometimes there's defoliant spraying and things like that going on. But it's one of the great places to practice your skills of, you know, being able to identifying, uh, to identify them and see them uh, in an environment where you can, you know, just see a lot of things. A lot of wild edibles grow very well in disturbed sites that have a lot of sun and power lines are very oftentimes a very disturbed site and there's open sun because they keep the trees down. So I love coming out to places like this with my boy. It just gets you outside, it gets you relaxed, gets you comfortable uh, being in nature, you know, hearing the sounds that are around you. Uh, and like I said, you get to practice some of the skills and it's usually very close to you. You don't have to plan like a whole like, you know, long weekend vacation, you know, to haul yourself out to somewhere because power lines are, you know, for better or worse, almost always near us. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.